as we advance, I think I will one day be able to, um, I won't be able to map the amount of gold, for instance, but I'll, I'm already mapping other minerals that are correlated with gold, that are laid down by the same hot water phenomena, you know, hydrothermal alteration that gold's laid down. We're going to be able to map metals in soil and rocks. And then the really exciting part is let's forget the satellite for a moment. Let's come down to handheld devices. Let's come down to a sensor on the back of your sport mirror of a car that can image mammal hair and know that it's mammal hair by its chemical composition. I've already got a patent applied for on that, okay? And a company has spawned off uh, called Crosshair Technologies Incorporated in St. Mary's to take advantage of that, okay? What about bird feathers? Yes, I got one for bird feathers. So eventually we'd like to make sensors that can go onto airplanes with big uh, telescopic capability looking way out in front of the airplane, identifying those parts of the scene that are, that are covered by bird feathers as, as red pixels in a, in, a, in a black and white image, you know, so that your, red, your eye goes to where the red is, and you can warn the pilots that there's something out there, they might be able to avoid it. 